Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read. To see where your energy is, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking. We got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the doo -doo -doo -doo, foreign love oracle to see what type of energy comes out. This could be an emotion, this could be a feeling, or this could just be an energy of you dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation. Of course, all of these cards decide to come out. So it says you're walking away, opposite attracts, hidden desires, loyalty, dance of love, and then manifesting. So you're walking away um, in regards to you know, doing things that you actually desire. Your loyalty has been too strong when it comes to what you do and what you consider love, and you're questioning it, questioning love, and you're questioning this situation because, you know, even though opposites attract, you attract, you know, twin flame type energy, or you, you attract, you know, somebody that you would normally attract, or it just keeps being a back and forth, and you're questioning about love and your loyalty, and that consists of you going on a spiritual journey so when you question whether you should walk away because even though there is people that are coming in your direction yeah sacred yeah see look you're finding your truth and it's like a healing like this came out in my last read called um you walked away from this player um the thing is is that finding your truth and having a breakthrough especially when it comes to signs and synchronicities it's like you can find somebody or you can be in front of somebody who you've been around for years or who has come into your light and uh it's something that you started to pay attention to because you know it's it's like they something that they're they've been doing or something that somebody has been doing has caused you to pull your energy and look at them in a different light that's the healing that you go through when you start to questioning when you start to question your loyalty when it comes to the people who don't really, um, who take you for granted. And so the breakthrough happens and you find your truth and also understand the signs and synchronicity. So you could, you can uh, get along with somebody that, you know, same sex, you know, that's when love finds you, you know, whether you agree or not, Adorn is on by Miguel, um, whether you agree or not, that's when you find the people or things that you know makes you question like mm, should I you know should I stay should I go you know have I been too has this been too good to be true have I been too good to this person you know you start to question those types of energy and it says yeah a wolf in sheep clothing you start to really realize who you're dealing with and um this caught you know the uh dice just turned over um which is uh I think it's it's Scorp no it's not Scorpio energy it's Virgo energy so you could be dealing with the Virgo when it comes to uh, you know walking away or dealing with a new person so the last person that you were dealing with or the people that you've been dealing with was the wolf in sheep clothing and right now you're just tired of questioning your loyalty you're tired of having to say am I too good to this person uh, and so the breakthrough comes when you start to really look at the things that are really and have been in front of you this could be somebody that helps you get through a certain time or a certain situation look at this okay so just to let you know this was probably in my last read yeah marrying for money um, yeah this was in my last read digging up dirt uh, digging dirt so this was in my last reading, and I guess it got stuck in here, which is the reading uh, you walked away from a player because this person, wolf in sheep clothing, would do anything for money. And the breakthrough that you had to have was finding your truth and also understanding where you are in this situation. It says you have found a solution that can transform your situation. Your hard work and perseverance has finally paid off. And so that is kind of how I see that energy for you. And then we have marrying for Monday, um, but we, we have finding your truth. It says, perhaps you have been misguided by falsehoods. Now is the time to shine. Okay, now is the time to shine. Um, it says a light on what speaks to your heart and soul. And then the signs and synchronicities. The universe is communicating to you through numbers, symbols, and other signs. Watch for them to, as, as they hold a deeper meaning, for your life and so um digging up dirt you know you've been dealing with people who at the end of the day it's like taking taking or it's about to report something neglect and abuse that has been neglecting you kids are at risk of being 
uh, taken from you. Okay. So this could be, you know, dealing with the person and um, this could be, you know, why you need to heal and get away from these types of energies because it's childish energy, if you ask me, because somebody is doing anything for money and, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of the day, um, somebody could be digging up dirt on you, but at this point, you don't even care. You know, if this is about, uh, it says child services, but if this is about splitting up and understanding that you've been too good to the person that who will do anything for money, they will do anything for money, but they will not um, when it comes to child support and things like that. So they only do what they want to do for money. So your healing light really re makes you realize and understand who's really in your corner. That's the breakthrough that you need and why you decide to walk away because the hidden desires of the person who you're loyal to and the one that you, it says dance of love, but who you've been courting or wanting to court you and uh, wanting to manifest things with, you just realize no love is owned by Nicki Minaj and August Alcina. Um, you know, you just really realize that you have to do something different in this situation. And so dealing with the archetype deck or the archetype or the type of person, I'll go ahead and pull from the archetype deck and go from there. But again, I'm going to give it a good shuffle because I used this deck uh, the last time. And so far, the two cards, two, three cards came out from the last uh reading which married for marrying for money was stuck inside of the card deck and walking away but the um loyalty card i think was in there as well so there you have it let's see the type of ooh, the queen yeah you have to recognize oh and look at this the traveler in the reverse came out so you need to recognize your uh, ability, and this is Empress Energy. You have to recognize your ability to create and manifest. You don't need anybody to create or manifest with or to even travel with. The signs and synchronicities will be there. But, you know, again, when it comes to the opposite attract energy, you have to find your truth and be able to create for what it is that you want. And that was basically what came out in the last read. Yeah, detective. There's no need for you to play detective work. But if somebody is digging up dirt on you, they're not going to be able to find what it is that they want you're going to maybe find somebody who is a hot nerd or maybe you've been dealing with somebody who believes that they're god's gift to green earth and that the opposites attract you know uh when it comes to what you know what you looked for in the past or whatever this could be a fling this could be certain things but the thing is is that whoever whomever you've been dealing with you're not worried about traveling with them anymore you're not worried about um them being in your in your sight you are moving away from this energy you're moving away from this energy or this energy has kept you stagnant one of the two by you um trying to figure out where your loyalty lies or trying to figure out what you want to do and that's why you're questioning this energy what the healing light says imagine surrounding surrounded oh this was in the last read too i think it was at the bottom of the deck yeah i think i said that imagine yourself surrounded by amber light en enveloping you in in enveloping you enveloping i don't know you in love compassion and protection let all unwanted thoughts and circumstances melt away that's why we let go of all the energies all the negative energies uh from the past and we move forward we become the things that we want to be and the hidden desires come with you understanding that you can find somebody a hot nerd you know if this is you know the 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 thing they're wolf in sheep clothing you know or you know, this person can look look one way with clothes on, and then when you get around them, you know, they totally take their clothes off. So this could be somebody that you're not even used to, you know, like a, uh, that you wouldn't even normally deal with. But then as soon as you see, you know, them with without any clothes on, then you're like, whoa, you've been hiding this? So that tells me that you don't want that type of attention that I used to you know, with the person that I used to deal with, somebody who always has their shirt off or always is trying to be in crowds uh, to be able to be desired and to feel wanted when they had me right there. So that is something that, you know, you had to kind of de determine or deter from. And so, uh, yeah, diamond ring, true loyalty and love token. So, yeah, you're finding in the opposite uh, loyalty, you know, and that's all you want is somebody who's going to be loyal and reciprocate the things that um you normally do come through is on feature rich homie kwan and jacques um yeah leather belt stop, tied down restricted so that's this energy here where i say you're not moving forward you know the hidden desires is just for you to know 
what somebody's true loyalty is. Um, I watched something the other day, and I said this before on here. Yeah, searching, detective, flashlight, clarity, discovery, investigation, and then um, tree of life, uh, karma, and opportunity. The tree of life is growth, and you have to be able to create and not just create for money, which you don't. You always give your money uh, um, and give your energy and do things like that, and that is the difference between – got to close this. That's the difference between – uh, you and the other people that you've been dealing with. Yeah, but it's been a round and round type thing. And so you're looking at things in a different perspective. You're not looking for your normal type. You're looking for friendship, relationship, loyalty. You're looking for those things. And when it comes to love, and so that's what you're manifesting is true loyalty and um, a love token. So you could be in a situation to where you are finding what you want or there is somebody coming towards you. Hold on one second. Yeah, so you're looking for loyalty. You're not looking for a relationship. You're not looking for somebody to lie to you. You're not looking for somebody who only cares about money. You're looking for somebody who you can create with, who uh, shows you certain signs that you did not see in the past. And so that's where it comes to you finding people that you would normally deal with and understanding with the Wheel of Fortune energy, you know, you're not just going to go with the flow um, or roll with the punches. You're going to basically speak and say what it is that you want out of a situation, if that makes sense. So I'm going to true, pull from the true emotional uh, deck to see what comes out. But, yeah, you have to get to a point to where you are dealing with what you need for yourself, and that's the breakthrough that you had to have. And it says you can have uh, – you have found a solution that can transform your situation. Again, it says your hard work and perseverance has finally paid off. And then it says finding your truth again. Perhaps you have – been misguided by falsehoods now it's time to shine a light on what uh, speaks to your heart and soul and that's when you uh, are really understanding why there's no room for stagnant energy or for any uh, restrictions the boundaries will be there but the the boundaries come before anything else but the signs and synchronicities have to be there it can't be you seeing potential in a certain situation it says the universe communic the universe is communicating to uh, you through numbers symbols and other um, signs. It says watch for them as they hold a deeper meaning in your life. And so remember the boundaries, if you have to set boundaries um, like automatically off the top because you you hear or feel a red flag, you're not doing that. You're just going to say, you know what, I'm cool and go from there. And that is what, you know, true loyalty is when you understand those types of situations. And so, yeah, somebody is going to have to uh, lose you and know and realize that they love you. Um, it says worry, replaying events. Um, it says, you know, replaying events, thinking about you. And then it says, I love you. And again, bad credit. This came out of my last read, backstab. And then it says, shady. Yeah, this person, whoever you lost or whoever you walked away from is going to have to realize. And yeah, see, detective GPS clarity. They're going to be trying to question whatever it is that you are doing or Whatever it is that you've been doing, I have my camera on downstairs and my grandbaby is playing um, or whatever. So, um, yeah, so that is something that they're going to be trying to figure out what you're doing. And you're in the process of, you know, getting out of this, you know, getting out of the debt, getting out of the old um, contracts that you were in. And, uh, again, this is something that they might be dealing with, which I don't wish this on anybody, but karma and opportunity. This is the ebb and flows. You know, you get what you get. And, you know, you can't throw a fit. So if they only worried about money. So this did come out in the last read. Marrying for money and bad credit um, came out uh, in the last read. Not the, I don't think losing, losing sleep didn't come out or that I love you or shady or backstabbing. Because um, what happened is that this person, um, what came out is Don Juan twice. And so that's the whole thing. They had to really realize what they lost in you and digging up dirt on you and trying to play investigator. You know, they can't find anything because remember, if cancer wants somebody to know something, we will post it. Um, I watched a interview with, and it was actually a really good interview with uh, B. Simone and Lady London. Lady London is a cancer. She's a fellow cancer. Um, she uh, talks about, you know, uh, B. Simone says, and I think she's a Pisces, but she says, uh, you know, I almost went backwards to my relationship of after eight years, my old relationship after eight years. And Lady London said, I'm not going to do that. And she said, because I love too hard. So I know that if I'm 
thinking about even going back, I know that I did everything I needed to do in order for me to leave. And that means exhaust everything, exhaust everything. And so therefore, that is why we as cancers try not to, you know, we don't try to revisit the things and then we do we really realize that this person hasn't changed, but we really know that. And that's when the red flags come in at, I don't want to, is on my jagged edge. So, uh, yeah, that is where, you know, we end up being when we decide to go backwards instead of moving forward. So these are the lessons that we have to learn. And the lesson is for the other people is that they're going to lose sleep on over us like we did while we were with them and trying to figure out the ways not to walk away or not to, you know, um, question their love. And so that is why, you know, we know nine times out of 10, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. This is the yin and yang tarot. Yeah. So there is going to be a lot of abundance happening towards you. Yeah. Twin flames. Um, this could be a twin flame relationship, but you have to know that all twin flame energies isn't meant to happen this year. It might, it might be next lifetime because this energy tried to control you. You lost your self-worth worth in there. You had to heal. And now it's time for you to celebrate of abund with, and have abundance in this process because, again, their tactics, the way that they did, the wolf and sheep clothing, you know, your self-worth, your expectations of how they should see the things that you should do is like or how, you know, they treated you. And also knowing that, you know, you had to heal inner child wounds and that's where the healing light comes in at. And now it's time for you to celebrate. And so this could come with you finding someone that you um, are opposite of that you see potential in. But remember, potential will have you messed up all the time. You want to know and make sure you pay attention to the red flags by finding your truths, finding your toxicities, finding your codependent energies and why you keep attracting these same types of energies. So in the process of the abundance, I'm going to go ahead. I'll have my hand on the microphone. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the finance deck to see what comes out because you had to work on something. So what was it that cancer was working on in the process of trying to find um, her true loyalty, his or her true loyalty? Uh, and walking away a money manager yeah so again this is why you decided because the debt and things like that but this is a gift again two gifts uh, come out here it says sometimes uh, someone might ha give you a gift lend you money or help you in some way it says you can get a cash bonus at work it says you have natural talents gifts and abilities just waiting to be discovered explore them and so that is where you are in this situation no more questioning yourself you are finding your self-worth and being able to move forward money manager beware yeah beware so wolf and sheep clothing is here and it says and this fox is here it says don't make any type of financial commitments right now careful who you talk to regards money matters and business matters be prudent be prudent things are not what they seem uh, it says careful who you talk to. So again, because things will be unclear of what it is, there will be offers because people would think you are, um, people would think that you are, um, moving forward. Um, and all you're doing is manifesting, learning to manifest, which is up there, but it says the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. And so the money manager, you're not doing things for the money. You know, you're not marrying for money. You're not you know, uh, doing things out of abundance or, or manifesting things for the money, you're doing it for the foundation. And so this person is different from you. They're the wolf in sheep clothing. They're the ones that are not to be trusted. And so your breakthrough is you finding the truth and understanding that this is not the type of energy that you want, you know, being, being aware of, um, the type of people that are around you. Again, the people you spend the most time with is who shape who you are. And so that is why you are, really realizing that the money manager energy and the offerings that happen, these are toxicities. These can be toxic offers, or you can deal with somebody who is opposite of you that wants the same thing you want. And then you have, and you find a, a way of dealing with somebody. And sometimes that is what true love, when, when love shows his face. But again, being unclear is where you have to get to a point. It says the answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. And it says money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. And then it says a money manager. This card can indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, and any anything in finance. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. So, oh, 
Yeah, I was saying we got two gifts, but we do have two gifts right here. Um, but the thing is, is that you had to realize and find your self-worth and not just keep continuously giving offers to people. It says uh, the universe will meet you, meet all your needs. Consider having a money altar. It says call up on the spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. And that's a part of healing to know that this doesn't come from an, another individual. It comes from you understanding and learning how to find your truth. And learning there's a difference between dealing with, you know, people who are always taken from you or who are not what they seem to be. And then at the end, it turns around and you have to walk away because somebody keeps trying to dig up dirt and nothing that you do is ever going to be right. They're always going to be looking and doing whatever it takes for money. And then they'll try to control you based upon what how they view money and your your energy when it comes to money and giving is totally different from theirs. And that is what that Don Juan energy in that last read had to figure out that you are walking away from the things that no longer serve you. And it's not about money. It's about the loyalty and you getting reciprocation for the things that you desire, the things that you actually um, uh, deserve, you know? So this is the modern love tarot. This is my first time pulling tarot in this read. So this just lets you know that there's a lot that needs to be said in this situation. These cards come out. Yeah, so Burdens was out, uh, Ten of Wands energy, and so was the Page of Pentacles doing the work. Uh, we also have the Knight of Cups, you know, and we also have the Nine of Pentacles uh, in uh, needing clarification. Bottom of the deck is our card, the Chariot energy. Moving forward with confidence, no matter the situation. So the Nine of Pentacles being here, nine years, you're almost at. That took you to get to this point of being able to, uh, have your rewards to know that everything that you've done um, and you finding your truth is the pattern that you need to be able to understand that in business, in life, and in any situation, there's always going to be burdens. There's always going to be a lot of things you have to learn to multitask and to pe keep people um, that, you know, are trying to control what you do out of uh, your energy because this energy will cause you to have to be stressed out and work. It's one thing when you're doing what you love, and it's another thing when somebody is trying to control you and make you look at things in a different light or a different perspective because that brings debt and that brings you to be stressed out about money when you know you are the person who is able to manifest the things that you want, but not when you have somebody who only cares about, you know, controlling how somebody gets money and helps them in their... In their um, narcissistic type ways because they might have money but they still are trying to get you to do something so once you find your truth and realize that then you'll be able to knight of cups energy um follow your heart and that is how i see this energy so i'm gonna go ahead and pull from surrender um what is it called the power of surrender cards to see what it is that you need to surrender to um or understand about um yeah so there you have it uh surrender to surrender your desire to control people so hold on one second i'm about to cough and this happened to me in my last read where all of a sudden i just felt like i needed to cough somebody's throat chakra is off um hold on one second okay so um in procrastination so this is the stagnation energy when it comes to the traveler being reversed and the leather belt also but it says surrender your desire to control people so it's not that you try to control people you just try to get people to see things in your perspective and see their own potential their own true potential and when it comes to that type of energy you turn around and get your feelings hurt because you know you deal with people who are takers and not givers and so that that should mean something um being over controlling can sabotage relationships um, to more effectively achieve your goal, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. And that's what you've done. And that's what you've done because, see, they try to control how you do things. And it causes more of a burden when it comes to, you know, how you uh, how you feel. And so this is like you have to walk away from those things, the procrastinates, procrastination, surrender, uh, procrastination. It says now is the time to jump on a good on a goal instead of putting it off take action uh well taking action will attract success and so that's all you're doing you're walking away to take action in regards to figuring out how to manifest the things that you really want and how to manifest um, a foundation and that is how i see that energy and this could be a twin flame relationship you could have been dealing with somebody a twin flame who was here to teach you a lesson and you have to understand that those lessons sometimes come with 
not getting the outcome that you you think you would you desire and you know it's hurtful so with that being said i'm going to pull from the twin flame soulmate and karmic partner situation to see what does come out and see what type of energy this is but yeah you have to okay too many cards come out but i'm going to go ahead and read them twin flames again this is a twin flame energy which i'll read this so this makes more sense um it says you have met your twin flame, and even though it will be challenging, it can create a profound and life-altering sense of wholeness. And so that is what it's teaching you. What true loyalty is, how to stop procrastinating and waiting on somebody else to get their lives together and to really realize the hidden blessings. So compromise, okay, this twin flame could be teaching you compromise. Karmic is underneath here, under the twin flame. So this twin flame could teach you how to compromise, and it says, na uh, navigate, uh, communicate, negotiate, and compromise to facilitate this sacred union. Your twin flame is ready to meet you halfway. So, again, once you walked away and you stopped trying to control a situation or to get somebody to see what it is, compromise happens. But until then, there's going to be a lot of arguments. you constantly fighting, and it feels like they are never ending. Repeating the patterns means that you have not learned the karmic lessons. And so this is where you have to realize that, your power to uh, uh, surrender and to try to control a situation can be easier for you, justifying behavior. To justify their behavior, even though you know deep down inside that it was wrong and questionable at best, it's clearly not a good sign. And so this is you paying attention to the signs. Intensity. It says the intensity of this connection is very strong, deep, and intense. It It's so overwhelming you may run from it and that is what this person does and this is what you'll do because you have to be able to ground yourself and get out of this situation because there's no respect when it's just like back and forth arguments no no type of uh accountability for somebody's actions it says there are times when you feel disrespected and that does doesn't have to be a deal breaker but if it's a repeating pattern perhaps it's time to walk away that's what you really realize because your aspects of how somebody sees um money and how somebody how you view money is totally different and all the other things all of the above convenience you're staying in this relation in your relationship out of convenience because starting over seems like a dreadful task so you hold on you hold off on leaving them and that is where you've been at in this process and that's the reason why at some point close to this nine year mark of realizing the struggle that you've been through you decide to stop to surrender to correct procrastination and to take action um and that is well let me read this uh because surrender to ego is right here it says cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from your uh, and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but oh, uh, humility will further your goals and so again you had to be able to surrender and say you know what i can't control this energy i'm not going to try to control this Jaheem just came on ready willing and able and again it says that the twin flame can come back but it might not be I guess to see you next lifetime you know you know I can't sing but it could be next lifetime it says the right timing again uh, both of your souls have evolved and have have evolved and have awakened to this connection that could last a lifetime your hard work is now being rewarded so again you are being rewarded again you are doing the work and so that is why you're going to be rewarded you stop trying to control this situation and start working on controlling what you can and that's your energy instead of going back and uh, forth the attachment it says get to know your attachment patterns so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging and that is why you release the attachment because there was no respect no matter how it is again if it's something that's meant for you you cannot lose it um, again, if somebody is ready, willing, and able, then that is what they are. It has nothing to do with you, on uh, your control, your timing. They have to do it when they're ready, but you have the opportunity to make the choice if you decide to take them back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember when I said one-sided energy? One goal, two ways. It says you could be attracted to someone who does things very different from you, but if you listen to communicate, um, uh, excuse me but if you learn to communicate you can make it work and so again this is something that you lack of uh, communication and being able to talk and say what it is that you want because in the beginning you saw potential in a situation and here it is this person place thing or situation wasn't on the same page as you so the hidden blessings it says you are being asked to go in uh 
go in a new direction, you will be amazingly surprised by the detour. It will be unknown territory for you. And that's what scares people going into the unknown. That's what scares this person into opening up. That's what scares this person into really uh, loving you. And so therefore, turning point. It says you're realizing there is no easy way out of this karmic love, but you're beginning to take your power back and make those long overdue changes. And so that's what we learn in situationships, especially to inflame situations, because again, um, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. Now, the lesson is to learn that you have to surrender your need to control and to be codependent on these types of situations when you see that this person is causing procrastination and they see things in a different light you keep trying to tell them tell them tell them how good you are but at the same time they have to have a dark night of the soul to be able to get through this it says your twin flame could be experiencing a dark night of the soul a period of spiritual de desolation it says disconnection and emptiness so again twin flame energy being re ready willing and able is what they have to go through uh, they have to get to in order to or go through this in order to get to that point to where they're ready, willing, and able to give you the love that you need. So I'm going to pull from the evolution of the soul because you're evolving. You're not procrastinating anymore. You're not trying to control anything. You're realizing that if this is a twin flame energy, the only thing you have control over is yourself. And that's, you know, you can only control so, so, th so many things. Um, life path number four is here. And then we have LVL 10 consciousness. It says you live in your own spiritual reality. Yes. And that's why people don't understand how you're able to be able to manifest the things that you want. Living in your own spiritual reality is you being able to and have the power to manifest. But when you have all of those strains on you and somebody constantly questioning what you're doing and how you're doing it, then that is where you get to a point to where your burdens start to become heavy and you can't do that. So you have to realize why you are the way that you are. You're not doing things for money. You're doing things because this is what you love. It says you are fused with the collective and it says you are able to channel divine power. And yes, that is by you going with the flow and being able to ask the universe uh, for to help to help you in the process of being able to manifest the things other people have to ask other uh, individuals or have to rely or wait on somebody else to get them the things that they want you're able to sit still once you really realize your hidden blessings you're able to sit still and understand that you've done everything in a situation you've been there you have you've tried to say you tried to control you tried to not really control you tried to say what it was that you were going through you tried to compromise you try to do things like that but it's, it's it says one goal two ways but you to me is it's one-sided because you gave 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 and this person didn't have to they only cared about money and so they would have did anything for money to where it caused them to be in debt but it caused you to be in debt because it kept you stagnant on you worrying about how somebody else felt about you until you released the need to control um, other people wake up is on feature oh excuse me featuring Chris Brown, Skylar Blatt. I never heard of that. But anyway, life path number four. It says practical, hardworking, and dependable. That's who you are. It says you're the worker bee of business. So you could be self-employed. You could be in a business situation, um, again, and being able to, money ma to manage your money and to be able to manifest the money. But again, if somebody is causing you to feel some type of way, they could be put placing lack on you because they don't see your money. And so they move forward trying to find whoever is glittering, thinking that they're gold, but they once they do realize that all that glitter isn't gold, but that's after they go through all of this other stuff. It says prefer steady, long lasting relationships. We all do. But again, you have to know where your boundaries are and go from there. So that is how I see that energy. I guess I did pull tarot. Let me see. I will pull um, I'll pull from the archetype deck, even though I have the archetype deck out here, I'll pull from this archetype deck to see, um, what else you had to deal with. Oh, shoot. I don't know why these cards keep slipping out the way that they are. And I'm just taking them because again, you know, I'm trying to give you a full detail read the survivalist been hurt often in the past, but still hopeful. They carefully, they, they're careful who they give their heart to. They know perfection isn't love. And so that's what they had to realize. And that's why they're going through a dark night of the soul. And then it says the free spirited, very selective and will be slow to commit. They hate monotony. They hate 
monotony and routine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. What wants someone who will not bind them? And that's what you were. You know, you were the free spirited person, but this is what they wanted because they didn't want to commit to a situation and you were just trying to not control the situation, but just let them know that you are the one that can survive any type of situation. The cautious one, cautious when entering into a relationship, test partners love to analyze the reactions, has their defenses, defense walls up. So this is the type of person that you've been dealing with, somebody who's very cautious, who it could be your twin flame, but again, at the end of the day, they're not going to be in the situation to where they're ready to give up all of their rewards. It says they, uh, they, they feel they're the prize to be won. Treats partners as a status symbol, flaunts their partners among friends. So that's all they want to do. I don't even see this right here. That's what they want to do. And it says total opposite. Okay, so here it is. Back twice, different cards. Oh, opposites attract. So this is the energy that you've been dealing with. It says attracted to people who are different, likes those who stand out from the rest. They are very open-minded with dating. So this is somebody who... They wanted you to be, and you proved to be that person, but you also got tired of being that person, and that's when you reached that turning point because, again, this is somebody, they wanted you to look the part, be the part, didn't want to give you the emotions of the part. They were very cautious on how they did things. They wouldn't compromise. They Their, their behaviors were never justified. You know, their attachments were, were just crazy. There was no respect in the situation, and they didn't even recognize that you are the hidden blessings, and they did things out of convenience when it came to money, and um, that's a difference from you. And so the marrying for money or them you know, really giving their energy to other people, even though, you know, they didn't like or may have not felt the same way uh, for this other person like they did from you. It was convenient for them. So um, they argue with you and compromise with the other person. If that makes sense, I don't know. I'm saying that. But again, it's the total opposite. You guys are opposite, but you attract. And they are so guarded and, and blocked that it's just a means to an end that, you just can't be a part of this situation. So I'm going to pull from the four agreements and then I'll pull from the crystal deck. Um, I believe I gave you, well, these two came out. I believe I gave you a full reading in this situation, but yeah, I just believe that, you know, the opposites attract, but if this is your twin flame energy, they have to experience a dark night of the soul in order to understand what, um, what you brought to the table and to understand why you had to move forward. And so there you have it. Let's go ahead and Read the don't make assumptions. Yeah, assumptions are seeing a potential and basically thinking for someone else. And that's not what you're going to do anymore. So not trying to control the situation. Relinquish the need to change others. And that's what you had to do. And it, again, it says to walk away. Um, it says real love is accepting other people the way that they are without trying to change them. If we try to change them, this means that we don't really like them. It's easier to find someone who is already the way you wanted him or her to be instead of trying to change that person. So this is where the opposite of track comes because um, you're opposite, but you wouldn't change anything from this person or about this person. You love this person for who they are. However, the opposite part of the situation is that they can't love you or they're afraid to love you for who you are, which is that will of fortune, which is right here somewhere going with the flow type energy you know the person who's going to keep going no matter the situation who does not see um you know any difference in somebody being different or whatever but who is believes that there's a twin flame type of energy in this situation so that's kind of how i see that so we have the pink calcite and the apache tears if you really want to know the meanings of the uh four agreements or the fifth agreement the five agreements i put the links up above and also the chakras which deals with the crystal deck um pink calcite is the heart chakra the apache tears is the root chakra yeah this is you grounding and learning to love it says universal love compassion and healing it says i approach life with love and compassion and that's how you always done it but this person has made you feel like what you're doing is not enough so the control tactics that making you feel like um what is it um how what am i want to say it makes you feel like uh, you are uh, um, less than, that's what I want to kind of say, you know, and because all they care about is the money aspect of it. And this is the Apache Tears, which is the root chakra. It says grounding, protection, and healing. 
grounding, protection, and healing. And it says, I am, emo- I am healing emotional wounds. I am healing emotional wounds. Yeah, so there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.